All right, come on in, hit the like button, think about subscribing if you're already. You're new here, welcome to the channel, but most importantly, welcome to the Viking family. So this is my personal opinion slash review for the 2025 crime drama film called Force of Nature, The Dry 2. Now here's the plot. Five women precipitate per in a hiking retreat, but only four come out the other side. Federal agents Aaron Flock and Carmen Hooper must find out what really happened before time runs out. Now, this is a prequel to the first one. So in the first one, uh, they briefly talk about how Aaron Flock was on a case or did a case and this is pretty much it um, but here's some of the cast there's definitely a difference feel and look between the films the first felt more bright and open while being more of a small town crime thriller. This one was dark and enclosed with more of a creepy horror feel in spots. There was more of a childhood past that was supposed to be continued story line wise of what was missing in the first one with the, what's his name? Aaron something. Uh, Aaron Falk and uh, Honestly, it didn't really add much to his storyline, like barely. It felt odd and rushed, to be honest. Uh, the main hiker story felt kind of sluggish and uh, just a bit drawn out, in my opinion. The character's writing of the hikers felt cl cluttered, and in my opinion, didn't mix well with each other's acting skills slash um, character writing when it came to the physical fighting, uh, definitely felt strongly forced at times, especially by the actress that played Alice and a couple others, but mostly Alice. For me, length and the mess, messy, conflicting acting, writing of the girls when they was together in the flashbacks was out of place and ruined any joy uh, enjoyment of the film for me personally. Now here's my rating, and I'll come back with my very small final thoughts. Alright, let's take that off. Sorry, that's kind of heavy. Um, but to be honest, first one was so much better of a work of art, a lot more shooting, uh, better shots. It's how the pacing in general was really good as well. Uh, the actor that plays Aaron Hark, or Hark, whatever his name is, in the first one and this one, uh, I think he, he does a good job, but his character writing was much more better in the first one. Acting is about the same, except I would kind of say it's a little bit back on this one. Um, but yeah, always leave your guys' uh, comments down below. Um, personally, I wouldn't recommend this. I think the film is a bit meh, in my opinion. Uh, not that great. So, uh, but yeah, so remember, I love you all. Please stay safe. Spread the love most importantly. Skull.